Welcome back to Wasteland 2. It's pretty much time to leave Rodia, but before we do that, I want to do one thing. Let me talk to Tom, now that he's recovered from the, the plague that we cured, and let's see if he has anything to say. I'm alive thanks to you, just wish you'd got here before my Lana died. I know, I'm sorry. Alright, nothing going on there. Okay, so yeah, I want to come back here once I've gotten... Lexcanium's mechanical repair skill up enough to have a fairly reliable chance of actually repairing, hey, folks, the, repairing the radio. Again. Ulrich down at the bar needs two or three able bodies to help clear out some trash the jerks left behind. Mm -hmm. Anybody free, head on over there. He's paying in scrap and shots. Well, never mind. Maybe there's something I can do. Doesn't exactly sound like a glamorous job, but let's see. Damn it, I can't clean up garbage. Lame. Okay, what was I saying? I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh yes, so I'm waiting for Lex Kenium's mechanical repair skill to be good enough to actually come back here and reliably repair the radio. So until that happens, I'm probably not going to come back here. One thing I do want to do though is let me check the holdup. Which is that shotgun that I got from... Who's it from? Pat the Axe or somebody or the huge dude, Obigan? I got it from somebody. Let me see if it's better than the Spaz. It's worth significantly less money, so it probably isn't. Oh my god, the damage is way less. Uh, range is the same, capacity is lower, cone angle is the same, lower penetration. Um, hmm. And it only has one shot mode. Just single shot. The good thing about it is it takes very little AP. It's only 3 AP. Interesting. But, no, it, it's definitely not better. No way. Okay, yeah, so at this point, it's not exactly clear what I should do, because I still need two more bags of cat litter to get out of this general area, you know, to upgrade my radiation suit enough so that I can get out of this area. And I've kind of finished with my main quests for the most part. Hmm. I do have a quest from the mayor here in Rhodia. The last thing he told me was that he wanted me to go back to the Angel Oracle and talk to Mr. Manners to tell him that trade can resume to Rhodia. However, I looked at my quest log and it said that when I let the, you know, I was supposed to go kill the Robinsons, Mr. Manners wanted me to kill the Robinsons, and I went there and I said that I'm not going to mess, you know, I'm not going to get involved, you can go, I don't care. My quest log said, I let the Robinsons go, and I don't think Mr. Manners is going to like that. So, I'm pretty sure if I go back to the Angel Oracle, we're going to end up shooting everybody. Unless I can get out of it with my really high speech skill. I doubt it, though. So, I was going to go back there, and now I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't. So, I don't really know what to do exactly. The only place I know of personally that actually does definitely have cat litter is, I think, the Playa del Rey, or the Playa del Rey, however you pronounce that. I think it had some cat litter, but I had to uh, turn back and not go towards it because there were some people there that wanted to shoot me. So, let me go back and see if it's still there. Combat. You see nuns holding prisoners in cages. 0% chance to run. Okay. Goddamn nuns holding people in cages. Oh, every day. Every freaking day. I still love the fact that there's a nun sprayer. <laughs> I just love that name. It's amazing. Can I just leave? I can just leave. Uh, but they have people in cages. They have people in cages. Let's save the people in cages. I'll be a good Samaritans. Plural, because there's many of us.
I think my snipers are going to love this encounter. Yes. We're gonna have to move, are we? Probably not. Nah, let's wait for them to come to us. So I'm just gonna plot my people down. And we are going to kill you right now. Goodbye. 190. Ugh. Lame. Damn nun zombies. Alright, now you die. Goodbye. Oh my god. Is that... Oh yeah, that's why I could, um, I was wondering why I could hit this person from so far away. It's because I installed the high-powered scope on the AK. Yeah, what's the range on this thing now? 42 meters. Beautiful. Look at that, I have a 70... He has a 78% chance to hit this pistolier with a burst shot. That is beautiful. But we might as well go for the one that has the higher chance. That is awesome. And oh, what the fuck? Yulia, when did you fall off? I didn't even see that happen. What the hell? It's like I couldn't find room for her on the platform, so it just made her sink to the ground or something. That's wonderful. Great. Now she can't do anything. <laughs> she has to run all the way around. Awesome. Thanks. And he can be a distraction. <laughs> Who's going next? You. You're on the ground. I don't care about you. You I do care about. Nice. What's her armor? Seven? Seven. Seven. Okay, actually, um, an energy weapon would be perfectly fine here. Oh, right. I forgot she has the shitty energy weapon. Hmm. Also, I need to reload it. Also, it doesn't reach. Eh, whatever. Just ambush. It's fine. Fifty-five percent chance? Nah, that's terrible. Let's go for this person. Yeah, let's just wait for them to come to us. Do some ambushes. They don't have many places they can take cover, so the ambush should trigger right about now. Okay, didn't quite trigger. I really thought Pisepi's uh, ambush would have triggered there. I think the nun is, or the pistolier is in range. And two turns later, she is finally in a position where she was once was. Thanks, game. Just, um, go punch this person in the face. Sure. Nice. Should be able to kill that person. In fact, we might be able to kill both of them, although probably not because they have seven armor. 
Yeah, I don't think we will. Not unless we get a bunch of crits. Oh, almost. 45 damage. That leaves him with two hit points. Or one hit point. Damn. I really want to shoot you. I'm not sure if I could shoot you if I moved up here. So, let's just kill this person. And then move? Let's move. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, let's just get into cover for this turn. That is not going to work, but if I do a single shot, I believe I can, yeah, I can get one shot off. Actually, would an energy weapon be better here? They do have seven armor, and this thing only has six penetration. This thing might be better. Oh, wait, I don't have the AP for it, do I? Oh, no, I do. Yeah, this thing actually would be better. Ooh, I think we can actually punch you to death. Yeah. Alright, there's another one? Where? Oh, you're gonna have to come all the way around. Good luck. You'll never see it coming. Oh, we just pick him off with the snipers, really. Yeah, I might as well crouch you down again. Oh, you're so dead. You are so dead. 15 hit points. Uh, let's save some ammo. Just use my shotgun. Because I think that's the, pretty much the weapon that I have the most ammo for. Style points. Scripture notes. Oh wait, I don't think I can actually read them. I think I found them once before. I need to sell my stuff so bad I've got... Yep, there we go. Over encumbered. Damn, Harper, you need to pull your weight, man. Here, have a couple pistols. Yeah, let me see. I don't think I can read that. Nope. Copy, Echo, Theodore. Five points, not enough to do anything. Pizepi. Four points, not enough. Okay, is there people in cages? Yeah, here we go. Hello. No problem. Hey, before you go, I don't suppose you have any cat litter? Biff. <laughs> His name is Biff. Oh, right, I can't save. It's weird that you can't save on these maps. This is like they're a combat encounter or whatever, but you're not actually in combat. Or at least I wasn't actually in combat in that situation. It's weird. Okay. I actually want random encounters like that because I want the XP for Lexcanium. How many more levels does he need? He might need a lot of levels. Hold on, let me check, actually. Uh, oh no, he's, he's already got four skill points, so yeah, one more level up will give him enough to get to level eight, uh, level nine, mechanical repair. Okay, let me see if the people here have left. I 
think they have? I think I would see them already. Okay, yeah, they've left. Sweet. I hope it's not an empty bag. Okay, it's not empty. Sweet. <laughs> Why the hell is her cat litter just right there? That's so weird. Okay, so that means I need one more bag of cat litter. Just one more and I'm good. I'm trying to think. Are there any places I've seen cat litter that I haven't gotten? I can't think of any. One more bag. Well, I mean... Mr. Manners has some bags that he uses for his own cats, does he not? Hmm. Maybe. I kind of want to go back there, I kind of don't. I don't know if he'd actually try to kill me. He might not. One thing I definitely want to do, though, is go back to base camp and sell my stuff. One, stand at base, base. Found another frequency, but I... I don't know what to make of this one. Not like the others at all. Seems like it's just a bunch of advertisements. I'll patch one through so you can see what I mean. Hello, lover. Are you lonesome tonight? Do you want some company? Do you have an itch that needs scratching. Wow. Then come to Heidi's Hollywood Hideaway and let us scratch it for you. Mm. Here at Heidi's, your pleasure is our pleasure. And whatever your desire, we have a playmate whose greatest desire is to help you achieve it. The most beautiful girl. The hand. Okay, I think I get the picture. Gunfire in the background. Dear Mr. Manners, this is Brian Finley. I'm calling from the old school at Jefferson and Sixth. I hate to be rude, but I hope you'll be. you'll. Forgive the abruptness of this call. Loss of civility is to be expected under stress, gentle caller. Please, go ahead. What is the nature of your emergency? We've got some strange-looking creatures out here firing at us. They're humanoid, but I don't think they're human. We've got a pretty good barricade up, but if you could maybe see your way clear to sending over some... Ah, goddamn! Sorry about the swearing, sir. If you could see your way clear to sending over some CEs, we'd be much obliged. Apology accepted, gentle caller. You said the old school at Jefferson and Sixth? We'll have a team there quickly, sir. Echo One, this is Santa Fe Base. Come in. <laughs> I'm, I'm like 200 feet away from you. I'm, I'm here. This is Echo One. Go ahead. Don't know if you heard that Mannerite call, but this could be our chance. We've got fake rangers attacking a school and the Mannerites on their way. If we can show these prissy sons of bitches we're both fighting the same enemy, we might end this nightmare once and for all. Setting the coordinates, confirm receipt. Well, I wish you told me about a minute ago when I was actually already over there. But thank you. Get there ASAP. Okay, I'm just... Look. Fuck it. I'm gonna assume there's a timer. And it's going right now. Santa Fe base out. I'm gonna go. Now. I'm just gonna assume there's a timer. Because I'm sick of stuff going wrong. We're just going there, right now. I'm actually going. Go! It's a hard world out there, man. It's got a lot of jagged edges and sharp points. Know what I mean? Ooh, what's that? Well, if you need There's a cash. Cool. Off, if you need a Get that later. Can't save, damn. Okay, what is going on? Kotsks. 
Goddamn cots. Fucking assholes. Excuse me. No! These aren't reinforcements. Oh, they're gonna fight us right now. Oh, oh. Ah, oh, damn, I didn't get my people into position. No! They all have energy weapons. Well, except for the lobber. They're, they're not going to be able to do shit to us because our armor is complete garbage. Oh, this is fun. Okay, oh well, man, this is going to be wonderful for Yulia. She's going to be able to tear through them like a hot shotgun through butterflesh. Okay, uh, yeah, friendly fire is a little bit dangerous here. Let's not shoot. <laughs> Let's not burst fire through a line of two of my own people. That's better. Who's going next? You. Pew. May I have six armor, five armor, six armor, five armor. Okay, so energy weapons are not a good idea for these people. You can run away. Shoot them from the back. I don't want to get you in there because I want Yulia be able to to be able to just shoot him up. Hmm. I guess you can go over here because I don't think she's going to shoot over there. Nah, just confuse him. Okay, this is going to be beautiful. How many can I hit at one time? Three. Only three? Hmm. It's a little bit disappointing. But that's fine. That's still really, really good. Eh, didn't go amazingly. But the total damage everything added up to is pretty good, I think. Oh no, 15 damage! <laughs> oh. They're so bad against us. The melee attacks are dangerous, though. Even though they seem to be, like, energy melee weapons, they still seem to do a lot of damage. Almost got him. Twelve health left. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot for him because even if this doesn't hit, well, actually, wait. Let's let's get into cover first because this will increase the chance. Yeah. Um, even if this doesn't hit, if you miss an enemy and there's other enemies next to them, there's a chance you can actually miss and hit other enemies. So it's not quite as bad as it looks. One hit kill him? Uh, very unlikely. Burst it, I guess? Eh, sure. Let's go for one of the further away ones. This one's a little bit too close and in cover. Although I could move away. Oh no, he lost control. Hey, not bad. 89 damage. And a concussion. Okay, shotgun time again. Can I get three? No. Damn. Wish my cone was a bit wider at the moment. I mean, it really depends on the situation. Sometimes you want your cone to be wider, sometimes you just don't. I think two is probably the best I'm going to get. Unless, well, let me try here. I might be able to get three. 
Probably not. No, I can't. I'll take two. Nice. They really are doing pathetic amounts of damage to us. In fact, you know what? Screw the, screw the ones with actual energy weapons. Let's just go for the melee guy, because he's the only one that actually really hurts us. So let's just go for him. bit too close. 65, that's better. Hmm. Did it die from bleeding? That was weird. Alright, you're going next, so let's kill you. Or let's miss you. I said, let's kill you. Sixty-four damage, ninety-one in total. Wow, it's actually impressive. Okay, uh, no, I can't get an angle on both of these people. Or can I? I don't think I can. Let me try. Nope, not gonna happen. Well, that didn't work very well. I did get to shoot up this car, though. <laughs> the trunk and the uh, front thing just went all floppy. Let's save this ammo. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! <sighs> it's like scanium. I hate you. Whatever, you can take it. I still didn't die. 69. 94. Okay, he's bleeding, so we should probably help him. What the fuck just happened? What just happened is I just killed a bunch of... ne'er-do-wells. Copy, Ranger Demon. Echo 1, congrats. Vulture's Cry, how many points do you have? Six, nice. Okay. Hmm. She's getting points surprisingly fast. I'm gonna have to divert it. Have, I'm gonna have to start diverting her points into something else at some point, I think. But uh, for now, I guess just to keep on pace with everything else, let's go with Animal Whisper, which I almost never use. Oh man, we're gonna get so overloaded here. Ugh. 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 <laughs> dousing rod. Plus three to demolitions. Uh, and that's a trinket. Holy shit. That's amazing. Is that as good as I think it is? That means if you had this, you only need, you would only need to get your demolition skill to seven. And then anytime you needed to do something super hard, you just put the dowsing rod on. Holy crap. I suppose at this point it doesn't really matter, but still. Wait, dowsing rod? Crystal ball? Are these a bunch of, like... I'm not sure what the right term would be. You know, a bunch of... Those people? Like, I don't know. 
superstitious fortune telling kind of people. Anyway, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, demolition. So what's what's our current skill? It's eight. So if I put that on, then. Yeah, holy crap, that's amazing! I mean, the negatives to speed and pers and whatever else it does don't even matter, because you only use the demolition skill to, you know, get rid of a trap and then you're done. I don't need to put any more skill points in her demolition. Aid is all she needs, I can just put that on whenever I need. It's gonna be a little bit annoying to... to constantly keep putting that in and out, but... Okay, I need to break down some weapons. God damn. High powered scope, nice. I can put that on Theodore's weapon. Not forget to reload. Out of ammo, whatever, I don't care. Stop complaining. If you run out of ammo, just throw your gun at the enemy's face. It'll be fine, don't worry. Alright, why is she why is she overloaded? I think it's all these yeah, it's all these mods and the weapon parts. Uh, let's give the weapon parts to I don't know, Lexcanium. I hate you, just carry him. Perfect. Is there something else I was going to do? Nope, I think that's it. Okay. Hello, we're here to save the day. How you doing? I'm going to shake your hand and kiss your babies. Put on a good impression. A tough younger man with a mohawk, tattoos, and a pitchfork in one hand. He eyes you warily. Why did you save us? Aren't you guys on the same team? Hard ass? Ah, it's the one I don't have. I have all the other asses. We're not the same. Look, they're all children of the Citadel in disguise. They're all Kotsk. Holy crap, it was a frame-up. They were trying to make us think they were you. Civilian enforcers, everyone please lower your weapons. Oh god. Wait, these rangers saved us! Look! The other ones are children of the Citadel in disguise. These rangers aren't rangers at all. They're evolved. Okay, and they're not going to try to shoot us? Even though we helped the Robinsons? Well, we didn't help the Robinsons, even though we let the Robinsons escape? Okay, good. They're not going to shoot us. I was worried they'd be like, Hey, these are the people that let the Robinsons escape. Let's kill them. Thanks again, Rangers. And to show our appreciation for saving us from the fake Rangers, we were wondering if you'd be interested in the safe we have. What is the safe you have? It's a big old pre-war model, and we've never been able to get it open. If you can, you can have whatever's in it, as thanks for helping kill those crazy evolved bastards. Never been able to get it open. Well, it just so happens I have somebody with a very good safe-cracking skill, and I have the potato bomb, which maybe could help. Saves at the back of our compound if you want to have a look. I do. Hello, Captain. Please accept our apologies, gentle rangers. We'd heard you were claiming the other ranger attacks were the work of imposters, but we didn't believe you. I know, you thick scold motherfuckers. You fuck... I mean, um... Sorry, I didn't mean to go off on you, gentle... Uh... CEs. Your actions here today, protecting this village against your doppelgangers, has saved your reputation. We'll be sure to tell everybody at the Angel Oracle what really happened. What about our reputation? From now on, you are welcome guests at the Angel Oracle. And to make up for our earlier mistrust, we will do our best to help you with anything you need. Just pay us a visit and we'll do the we'll do what we can. Okay. So maybe the fact that I let the Robinsons escape has now been wiped off? 
Thankfully, I went here before <laughs> before going to the Angel Oracle. Okay, so you understand the threat of the evolved now? Believe me, the children of the Citadel will no longer be welcome in our territory, and Mr. Manners will be actively speaking against them in his broadcasts from now on. With Ice's pretty words about working for mankind's future aren't going to fool us anymore. Before you go, why don't you take the, why don't you take this book as a sign that the Angel Oracle welcomes the real Rangers? Also, I can't bring it back home because it's full of nasty curse words. Why, thank you. A yelling man's man. Plus one hard-ass skill. Oh man, that's totally useless. At least at the moment. I don't have anyone who actually uses hard-ass. Well, maybe at some point we'll find a recruit who does. I want to know what's behind this wall, too, but... I, I think I can just walk in there, can't I? Because that's a big wall, and it looks very destructible. Yeah, <laughs> you can just walk in here. Like this, for example. I can just put these on, and... 92%. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Most of it junk. Oh my fucking god, that is the best trinket ever! Plus two weaponsmithing, plus two toaster repair, and especially plus two mechanical repair. That's exactly what I needed. Oh my god. I just found, like, two of the best trinkets trinkets, ever. And a laser sight, which is also amazing. Jeez. Alright, you got too much stuff. Let's process some more weapons. Oh, shit. It's 20 pounds. I guess that's the negative of it. <laughs> it's, it's not in any negative modifiers, but simply in the weight. 20 pounds. That's nasty, but still, I'm totally taking this thing with me. I don't even care. Don't even care. Alright, I'm finding a bunch of these w wasteland hawks, so... Uh, I'm just gonna... Strip them for parts. I was going to keep it because it was cool, but it looks like it's not rare. And she's still overloaded by quite a bit. Um, let's process this. I really need to sell my stuff. Really, really badly. Okay, laser sight. I can attach that to pretty much anything. Except a shotgun. Which doesn't really make any sense. I don't see why you could put a laser sight on a shotgun. But, okay. And most of my weapons don't even have anything in that slot, so... I don't need to, like, replace something with it. So, what should I put that on? Theodore sucks at hitting things, so let's put it on his. I don't have anything in that slot, right? Nope, it's an underbarrel attachment, so perfect. Just straight up gives you a plus 15% chance to hit, and then I have a plus 12% chance to hit because of the flash suppressor. Damn. Weapon mods are really important. And what else did I get? The, oh, yeah, the long barrel. Which is also really, really nice. Do I have anything like that in his weapon right now? So, it would actually replace the Flash Suppressor, right? Yeah, it would. So it would replace a 12% boost to the chance to hit with a 6% boost, and then it also increases the range. Hmm... I don't know. You know, I have like no mods applied to this anti-material rifle. Let's uh, plop that on there. Fuck. 
49 meter range. Nice. Okay, so now I have a possibility of getting a plus two mechanical repair. And what is his current skill? It is currently eight, so that gets him up to ten. So that's all I need. I don't even need to wait for another level. That's it. I can go right back there and repair the thing. This is Santa Fe Base. Over. Congratulations. Yulia got a level up. Three points. Not enough. Okay. Hello, townsfolk. Can you heal me? I'm so glad that I popped that thing open. I mean, normally boxes just have like a human foot and a couple rounds of ammunition, but damn, that was a beautiful box. These townsfolk look like the Provost. Creepy. Wait, this is the vault you're talking about? Or the safe? I thought you were talking about like a bank safe. This is nothing. Ooh. Never mind, that's not nothing. Okay, that puts her skill up to 10. It can't go any higher. Even with the highest chance, it's only a 63. Damn. Okay. This probably got some really good stuff in it. Hey, the good thing is, if I mess this up, I can just use mechanical repair to fix it. Ooh! Beautiful! That's the last bag I need. I was thinking this episode might go really badly, because I wasn't quite sure what to do, and I thought it'd be kind of meandering. But this is actually going really, really well. Wait, why didn't the quest update? Don't I have enough... Cat litter? Hold on, I think I was dumping all the cat litter on Lex Canyon. Hold on. Let me track it all down. Yeah. A bag of cat litter, 56 pounds. And the quest says... We need to find 56 pounds of litter. I guess the quest doesn't automatically update when you do find it. You just have to... Have to what? Bring it back to Woodson, I guess? I guess we just bring it back. But I don't know. Anyway, this is too heavy. Uh, shit. Oh yeah, I also have a Kevlar vest which has 5 armor compared to the tactical vest which has 4, so let's plop that on. There we go. I really need to sell my garbage, dear god. Alright, uh, bag of cat litter for everybody. I just overburdened her, great. I don't think she can take a bag, can she? No, she- oh god. This is horrible. Ah, uh, they're not too overburdened, they're fine. See if this one has some amazing trinket. Minus the combat speed, plus one to awareness. Don't really care. That's kind of a, a shrug trinket. Shit, I think I need to fix this. Okay, close. Close. Can play musical chairs with the cat litter. Almost. Almost there. Let's dump this dirty grenade. I don't care about it. Oh god. 
Oh god. Uh, dump the backpack. There we go. Alright, we're good. I'm not gonna pick up anything else until I can sell my shit. Which I think I can actually kind of do right here. A thousand scrap. That might not be enough, because I have a lot of junk. Actually, no. It's, it's perfectly fine. Okay. Some things I don't want to sell, though. Keeping my condoms. Keeping my lipstick. And my merkins. And my pet rock. And my dildos. Wait, what is up with this guy? What have you got to tra trade? Fuck yeah, commerce. Yeah, I sold it, finally. The curse is passed. I, uh, what? Huh? You okay? Unfortunately, we're still very overloaded, but... Less so. Okay, so from here, I think we can just pop back to the Angel Oracle. And they should be... Angel 1, this is Santa Fe Base. Go ahead. We killed the fake rangers. Roger, Echo 1. And well done. Looks like the Mana Rites have finally seen the light. Heard them on their private frequency reporting back about the fake rangers and how we saved their asses. Mighty polite about the whole thing, I gotta say. My only worry about all of this is that now that Matthias has lost the war of words, he's gonna try good old-fashioned bullets. We may be looking at stronger synth attacks going forward. Regardless, you did a good job out there, Echo One. Santa Fe base out. You disappoint me, Los Angeles. How can you fall for the Desert Rangers' blatant propaganda and their outright lies? Do you not see the danger you are in? If you continue to welcome the Rangers and give them authority over you, the atrocities will only get worse. So let's pop over here and inform uh, Mr. Manners about the fact that they can resume trade with Rhodia. And they shouldn't want to kill me. I mean, that guard explicitly told me that they like us now. Okay, looks like we're good. So far. And yeah, there's the two bags of cat litter. So if I wanted to kill Mr. Manners, there's 16 pounds waiting for me. Hello. Oh, I have to actually inform him that we let Tori go. Uh. Well, actually, wait, no, do I? Uh, no, I don't. I can just say I don't have a head. Sorry, I don't have it. Okay, sweet. I don't have to tell him. Good, because I don't want to. Alright. So, the mayor of Rodia asked us to tell you that Rodia is open for trade. That is good news. Rodia is known for their large reserves of ammunition. Something we are always in need of here at the Angel. Tell the mayor that we are interested in his offer and that we will be contacting him soon. Sweet. And I think that's it. And while I'm heading back here to the entrance, let me see what happened to the quest. Does that finish it? I think that finished it. The mayor will be happy to know. No, it didn't. Okay, so I need to go back and tell him. Alright, so we should go back and tell him. Um, oh yeah, I mean, we need to head back there anyway, because I need to go set up the... Uh, repair the radio. And set up the repeater unit on it. So let's go do that. Let's also hit up the cache that I found, but did not have time to visit. 
the one southwest of us. Oh, 25%? Damn, this isn't going to be successful, is it? Mm, I don't actually want to fight. <gasps> oh no, this episode is going to run over an hour long. What do we have? Oh, it's the Kotsk. Goddamn Kotsk. They suck. Kotsk suck. I, I don't even care. Fuck you all. Die. I'm not even going to set up my people. It doesn't matter. They'll have shitty energy weapons. Oh no, 14 damage! Oh, 13! What am I gonna do? We're going to Rodian, we're just gonna get healed for free by the doctor there, so what does it even matter? Who cares? Just run around and shoot. Who gives a shit? Oh crap, I can't jump down or something. This doesn't actually reach. Well, balls. And she's stuck. Cool. I'm not gonna think about this combat encounter too much, it really doesn't matter. They're certainly not gonna kill us and we're gonna get healed for free, so... It really is a whatever kind of encounter. I need to move through here. I need either Theodore or Helen to move. What a wimp. It's only got 100 hit points. Loser. Oh yeah, I need to move him. Move! Alright, now we can get through. Make up your mind! Actually, please don't. It's good for me. Very good for me. You're dead. Let's just punch and shotgun this guy to death, shall we? Let's see what he can do. <laughs> oh my god. Absolutely nothing. His pathfinding is terrible. Oh no, he figured it out! Holy crap, that's actually really nasty. But again, health is completely irrelevant here. You're dead. Goodbye. Three levels up. Nice. Copy, Rain. Echo one, congratulate. Got Harper. Four points, not enough. Helen. Eight points, sweet. Uh, looks like her perception is lagging, so let's upgrade that. Lexcanium. I was going to give you points in mechanical repair, but now that's pointless. Computer science is stupid. Uh, I guess alarm disarming, sure. And I believe, hold on. Somebody was level 30. Theodore's level four, uh, 30, which means he actually has an attribute point to dis distribute. Need to do that at some point. And he's the only level 31, thanks to his extra extraordinarily high intelligence. I think is what allowed him to do that. 
But then again, Harper has a higher intelligence and he didn't level up. That's weird. Anyway. Do I want to pick up their stuff? Uh, not really. It's heavy. Screw it. Let's go. Okay. Like I was doing. That thing is heavy as hell. I'll certainly take the ammo. I don't know if I want the weapon. Ah, eh, fine. Whatever. Doesn't affect our overhead traveling. You see people belonging to the Robinson group approaching your position. We're not even enemies with the Robinsons. Just run. Whatever. Let's get this radio up and running. Talk to the mayor. Then I think we're good to go back to base camp and sell our stuff and hopefully get our new rat suits working. So let me move this heavy thing over. Um, let's just process it. Well, you know, shit. Actually, let's just sell it. Uh. Oh, she can't even move. Just strip it then. Okay, let's get the radio up and working first. Actually, you know, ditching one of these repeater units should allow us to save a bunch of weight, because those things are heavy as hell. Okay, his chance before was like 20% or something, now it's 77. It still could critically fail. Okay, nice. With a little elbow grease, you seem to have fixed the radio transmitter. All it needs now is a repeater unit. Who has those? You do. Yeah, 12 pounds. So this will free up 6 pounds. Echo 1, this is Santa Bay Base, so go ahead. We attached a repeater to the transmitter in Rhodia. Over. Fine work, Echo 1. I'm getting a strong reading. We should be able to reach all of LA and then some. I'll start broadcasting our message. We'll be hitting a lot of ears, so expect an influx of distress calls. Santa Fe Base out. We let Angel Oracle know that you're open for business. Thank you so much. Let me give you a little something for your troubles. What did you give me? I'm waiting to see it pop up up here. A hundred scrap. That's all you gave me? Man, I should put you back in that cage. Money is, like, meaningless to me. There's nothing I want to buy. Except the ammo, I guess. I don't know. I'm sure I'll find something really expensive at some point, and then money will mean something. And let's go get healed up by the doctor. Well, you know what? I can do that before the start of the next episode, because that is certainly not something interesting to do. So, yeah, I guess I'll just end this episode here. It's already over an hour long. I better end it. So, we should, we should have enough cat litter. 
So I guess we can just take all that cat litter back to Woodson, back at the base camp, Santa Fe Springs, and get our suit upgraded, and then start venturing outside of this little area here. And then since we just got the uh, radio up and working there, we should also get more distress calls, so... Yeah, everything's actually going pretty well. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.